Mm. Hi, I'm It's Mark Drink, and welcome to my channel, It's Mark Drink. Thank you for joining me in my journey of whiskey, cigars, and food. In this channel, I will go through why I like certain whiskies. I will go through um, if, you if I think you should buy a certain bottle of whiskey, and um, and why you shouldn't. Now, cigars is the same, so I'm not going to tell you um, what you should like or what you shouldn't like. I will tell you what the cigar is like, and you can decide if you want to try it. Okay, so everything is my opinion, of course. I mean, taste is very subjective, but what I want to do is I want to show you the difference between different types of whiskies, and I'm not going to review whiskies that are just, you know, um, Glenfiddich 12s, Glenfiddich 12s are $50 in the shops. I'm going to review whiskies that are a little bit more unusual, whiskies that are you know, something that you don't just find anywhere where you have to seek it out because seeking it out gives you more of an experience. That's what I'm all about. Something experiential and something unusual. Um, and I'm not talking about, I'm not, a, I'm not a whiskey snob where it has to be expensive. It's more about the interest factor of the whiskey um, and why I think that you should try it. Okay? So in this channel, it's all about having fun. Whiskey is fun, cigars are fun, and eating is fun. So. I'm going to show you what I think certain foods, which foods pair well with certain whiskies and um, I will make recommendations occasionally on which cigars go really well with which whiskies. Just so you know, um, you know what to look out for, you going to a party celebrating or something like that. I'm also going to go through the differences between independent bottled whiskies, distillery bottled whiskies and I'm going to go through the difference between cask matured and cask finishes because there's so much out there that are different and most people don't even know what the cask is of the whiskey they're drinking. So by doing that, um, you can say, oh, well, actually, I like a particular type of cask and then you can seek that out as well and go in that vertical. Um, or you could say, I don't like that kind of cask and go for another vertical. Um, I will also go through the differences between a small batch and craft whiskey. That's very important. A lot of people think small batch is craft, so I'm gonna go through the difference in that as well. And when I do my reviews, you will notice I'll have two glasses. Two glasses of the same whiskey, one has water and the other one does not. Because water changes whiskey dramatically. In most cases, it changes it dramatically. And I want to be able to show you the differences between the nose, the palate, and the finish. With water and without water. Then you can decide, do I want to put a few drops of water in there? I will take you through the type of water you should be using that I think you should be using and why you should be using it. And once again, it's an opinion. Some people might not be able to taste the difference, but I can. And in time, hopefully you can as well, because with whiskey, the more whiskey you try, and the more you think about what you're trying, the more your palate changes and adapts to the kind of whiskey you, that you're drinking. Um, and it's the same with cigars as well. So, you know, I will take you through that as well. Whiskey is a massive, massive, industry and that there's, there's so many different types of whiskies. There's literally thousands of different whiskies. You get Scotch whiskey from Scotland, you get Japanese whiskey, you get, you get Taiwanese whiskey, you get American craft whiskey, you get American bourbon whiskey, you get also different whiskies. So I will take you through the different regions as well. I will tell you what makes a region different to another, what makes a particular distillery different to another. Because a lot of people think, oh whiskey is whiskey. Well if you think that, you probably won't be watching this that much because you just think, oh yeah whiskey is whiskey, it's all the same. But if you think there's more to the whiskies you've tried, then this channel will interest you because I will take you through the difference between Isla, Highland, Speyside, Campbelltown, Japan, India, Taiwan. What makes a difference in the distilleries there, the casks they use, the methods they use, the stills they use. I'm not gonna bore you with too much facts. I'm all about drinking the whiskey and having fun. So I will kind of tell you about the whiskey as I drink them with you. So thank you for joining me in this journey. And I hope to see you again in the next video. The next video I'm going to cover the difference between independent bottled whiskey and distillery bottling whiskies. So you can then seek out, in my opinion, I'm a little bit biased, but I do really enjoy independently bottled whiskey. Not to say that distillery bottlings are not good by all means, but I will tell you the difference and why I believe as an experience, sorry, as an experiential thing, independent bottled whiskies are better. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again.
<laughs> well, thank you for joining me in my whiskey journey, and see you again. And I hope you enjoy my drinking whiskey in front of a camera. <laughs> How's that one, Peter? <laughs>